Hey there, I am Mr. Foquette, teacher at Fond du Lac High School. Mrs. Bratz and I were talking about getting people registered to vote and how important of an election it is. And so she gathered some information and I am putting together a video to help you uh, get registered and to vote on election day, which is November 3rd, coming up in about 30 days from the recording of this video. So um, there are three different ways to get registered uh, in Wisconsin. First of all, you can go to myvote.gov, which I'm going to show you in just a moment here. You can find where your polling place is. You can register to vote. You can request an absentee ballot, although I believe we're running short of time to be able to do that in Wisconsin. Um, the second way that you can register is after October 14th, which is just about a week away from here, depending on when you're watching this, um, you may have to go to the county courthouse and file paperwork to register. The third way that you can register is you can register on the day of the election. However, uh, I do think that uh, if you are voting and registering on the same day, you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of time. It doesn't take a lot of time to get registered, uh, but you do want to be prepared for that. And if you have the time now, I would strongly suggest that you get registered online beforehand. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the three ways to do that. First of all, I want you to think about this. If you are 18 and you have a driver's license or you have uh, proof of um where you live, uh, proof of residence. This is a lot easier than if you don't. Those of you who do not have those things, I'll be talking about that towards the end of the video. The easiest way to get registered in Wisconsin is to go to myvote.wisconsin.gov, uh, where you are going to see this stuff right here. What I would recommend that you do is you click on register to vote, and that is going to take you to uh, a page where you put in your name, first name, last name, and your date of birth, and then you'll click search, and it's going to tell you you're not registered, which you probably already knew. If you are registered, you're going to go, oh, I guess I was already registered. Um, so click on that. It is going to take you to, and I understand this is a little blurry, but you can probably make sense of it. Um, it is going to ask you to put your name in and register yourself. If it is uh, not your name there, you're going to click this is not me, and then it will give you other options of uh, the one with your birth date. And it is as simple as clicking on that, and then it's going to say you are registered to vote. It would be a good idea to print this out or to save it. I don't know if taking a picture of it and having that with you is going to be good enough, but uh, it is unclear to me whether you're going to need this on the day of the election uh, with things moving so swiftly. And if you are only registering 30 days before the election, you know, you want to make sure that you have this um, with you. So I would click the send email and then on the day of the election, especially if it is your first time voting, that you have that with you so that you can show it to the poll workers to avoid any confusion. Okay, moving on. The second way, way to do this is to go to the courthouse and get registered there. If you are registering after October 14th, you will not be able to do it online. You will have to go to the Fond du Lac County Courthouse, which is located right downtown near Veterans Park and the YMCA. It's a big cement building that some of you, I'm sure, have driven by over on Macy and Western. Um, to be able to figure out where to go, because some of you may not live in Fond du Lac and you may be students at Fond du Lac High School, to figure out, first of all, where you vote in order to figure out where to register. Uh, you would click on where do I vote, and I went ahead and I, let's say we lived at the school, I put in the school's address, and where will it take us to? First of all, the place you will vote will be at the high school, which is convenient because if you lived there, that's where you would vote. But if you live really near the high school, that is probably your polling place. But more importantly, I wanted to point out right here, Maggie Hefter is your clerk of courts, uh, and she is the one who you would go see at the courthouse in order to get registered between October 14th and the day of the election. On the day of the election, you will have to go register in line at your polling place, which is why it's important that you know where your polling place is. This is a really useful website if you want to vote, and I hope that you do want to vote because this is a, a pretty important election. All right, if you are going to register on the day of the election, the first thing, thing you need to do is figure out where you are going to go. In a previous screen, I showed you if you live near the high school where you would go. Let's say you live over uh, near 11th uh, Street or something. You would put in that address and it would tell you you're going to vote near the fire station. It would give you directions if you don't know how to get there. It also tells you the hours, what ward you're in, all that kind of information. Um, so what you'll do is you'll go there. But before you leave uh, to go get registered and to vote, you need to make sure you have one of four pieces of information with you. If you are 18 and you have your driver's license with your current address on it, you have to have that in order to register. If you are 18 and you have a learner's permit with your current address, name and address on it, 
you could use that if you have a Wisconsin ID, not a driver's license, but that or a military ID that has your name and current address on it, you could bring that. The last thing you could bring is a bill of some sort with your name and current address on it. One of those four pieces of information is required for you to vote. Now, a little bit about uh, registering and voting on the day of is that uh, in a presidential election, it's going to be busy. Don't let that dissuade you. This is one of the most important things that you'll ever do as an American. So give yourself time. This is not like when you drive to school or work and you give yourself seconds to spare to be able to get there. Expect that it may take a little bit of time, especially if you go during a very busy time. If you go after school or after work around five o'clock, it may take a while, so plan for that. But remember, as long as you are in line, even if the polls close, you will be allowed to vote. So stay in line. But what I would do, I would go early and get it done so that you don't have to do that, okay? Okay, last thing here, people. If you are 17 and will be 18 by the next election, or if you are 18 and you don't have a driver's license, learner's permit, or Wisconsin state ID, this is for you to show you how you can get registered. First of all, if you know you don't have access to a printer, you should just go see Mrs. Bratz in room 1159 and she will give you a paper copy of what you need and you can go from there. Those of you who do have access to a printer, you're gonna go to myvote.wi.gov. You're going to uh, click on register to vote. You're gonna put your name in and it's gonna say you're not registered to vote, which you know, and that's fine because there will be a button that says, would you like to register? Which of course you would. You're gonna click on that and then it's going to say, put in your driver's license and you're gonna click no, I don't have one. And then it's going to say you're not registered to vote and you can't register. Um, and you're going, but it will allow you to continue to work on it. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll click on that and it'll give you a um, paper thing that you can print. Uh, you'll print that, fill that out. And then what you're going to need to do is find one of these things. You're going to need some sort of government document that says who you are and where you live. You can go see uh, Miss Alicia at the front desk and she should be able to print something out for you from Fond du Lac High School that says who you are and where you live. Uh, if you have a bank statement that you could take a picture of or make a copy of um, with your name and address, that will be a valid uh, thing that you can use. If you have a paycheck with your name and address on it, that would also work. If you have a passport, if you have a bill of some sort with your name and current address, that should work as well. You will also need to know the last four digits of your social security number in order to get to this point. Once you have that, you're going to print that out. You're going to bring those things to Mrs. Bratz in room 1159, and she will help you with the rest of the process, including bringing it to the courthouse for you to get you registered. You could also just get all this filled out and take it to the courthouse yourself, uh, but she is willing to do that for you. So it's up to you if you'd like to do that. She is located in the business area on the first floor of the high school. So hopefully we've given you all you need to know to be able to vote. It is very important that you vote in every election, uh, but I think this election is particularly important because it's the one happening right now.